This video was sponsored by Voxelab. More on them later. This design was originally got from this Thingiverse repository. There are a lot of remixes for this design, and I couldn't find proper instructions to build this clock, so I decided to make a video. We could use Arduino Nano for this project. However, since our project is clock-based, internal RTC model of Arduino Nano is not accurate enough. That's why we will use Node MCU microcontroller. It has built-in Wi-Fi model inside, so we can use internet-based clock. The original model uses Arduino Nano, so its base is not compatible with this. Fortunately, there is a remix by Snowhead that uses the same idea. As you saw, I already printed it. But my Node MCU microcontroller is little bit longer. So I remixed the model to make it fit. Till it finishes the job, let's continue with what we have. This is our diagram. The stepper motor driver requires minimum 5 volts, but Node MCU doesn't provide 5 volt. Instead of using extra power supply, I'm going to use voltage step up converter so we can keep everything neatly. Now let's continue.
This video is sponsored by Voxilab. A while ago they produced new 3D printed Aquila that is very cheap with nice design and capabilities. It has big colorful screen for easy control and two X and Y belt tensioners. One of the pros of this printer is that it is very customizable. You can find nice and big community on internet who are using Aquila by Voxilab. And very good news is that it is open source, so you can develop and install your own firmwares or use better ones from internet. I also installed custom firmware already. And also you can install BL Touch for automatic bed leveling. So if you want very customizable 3D printer for low price, you can refer to Aquila by Voxelab. You can find links in video description. Our clock seems to be working, now let's solder everything tightly. Finally our new modified base is ready, now let's replace it. And this is how I place it all electronics. And one last problem, when you look at the clock from sideways, it's very easy to tell how it works. Fortunately, our friends now had designed a cover to hide gears, and it makes clock look more impressive. So let's 3D print it also. Until it's done printing, let's paint our clock a little bit. Our clock can be powered by 5 volts with micro USB port. Now let's adjust the time of our clock. Will we test our clock? Of course yes, let's start. As you can see, it's working like a real clock. 